Hey guys, what's up today? I'm going to show you how we installed stained, installed the sink, and then installed the countertops into the kitchen here. So, stick around. If you haven't seen um, the first two videos, there's a part one and a part two, how we made the countertops and how we cut out the cutout right here for the sink. So if you haven't seen that, um, go watch that. All right guys, so we have the countertop upside down. Um, before we stain it and all that, we already sanded it and already did the edges on the sink. But before we stain it, I want to mark off and drill where my uh, anchors are going to go for the screws for the sink clips. So I have them set up the way that I want them. I have three on the front, three on the back, and two on each side. And then I'm just going to mark a hole where I'm going to drill my anchors into. So these will be in the wood. And then the screw will go into that, which will hold the clip, which will hold the sink up. So... I'm gonna go ahead and mark these off and then we will drill the little holes and then we will stain it. Okay. You buying lunch? Huh? You buying lunch today? No. Balling though, man. Don't make sure you don't move the seat because it's exactly where I need it. Hey. How am I supposed to buy lunch? You balling bro. But why not? You haven't paid me yet. <laughs> Boom. 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 Now where is that last finger? Alright guys, so here's my anchor. I don't have the right bit. <laughs> the wood bit. Surprise, surprise. Didn't bring it. Didn't bring one. Don't have one. So, I do have the Craig bit though and I'm gonna try it on a piece of scrap wood and it's the same diameter that I need so I'm just gonna try it on a piece of scrap wood and make sure that it doesn't go through all the way and that it'll work if not we'll have to run to Lowe's and get one all right you see the sharpie mark yeah that's so that's as deep as I want to go I wonder how we're gonna fix that what the sharpie mark the what the sharpie mark Oh, it'll come off eventually. Stick the anchor in there? Stick the anchor in there. I hope it fits. Ah, no, it's a little bit too small. Wow. Problem solving. Gotta figure it out, JJ. Mm, there it is. And then you just hammer it. Alright guys, so I drilled the holes for all the um, screw anchors and then we went ahead and stained the countertops from the underside and then we flipped them over and stained the top side. Next, I went ahead and put the anchors in. I added a little bit of Gorilla Glue to keep them in there tight. And then I went ahead and put the sink on top just to make sure that All it was All right, guys, so fit. we got the anchors in and we're gonna seal the edge of the sink. We're gonna use Quick Seal Plus and we're gonna go all the way around the perimeter of the sink and then we'll tighten down the uh, screws and the fasteners. I used quick seal silicone um, for a bath and kitchens.
We're missing one screw. We gotta find the screw. Ready? Next, we brought the counters in for a dry fit. So, we're ready to install them. The only thing is I messed it up, <laughs> like always. And I uh, I didn't make this cut um, right, I was crooked. So I didn't have a 90 degree here. So when I went to join them, there was a gap. So I had to recut it. And when I did recut it on this end over here, it was short. So what I'm having to do is I'm having to insert like a little transition strip which gives me enough length so that I have the overhang on this end um, and so it'll just it's right where we go from one direction to the other so I think I think it'll work out um, so what I'm doing is I'm just gonna join it to this piece with pocket screws and some glue and then after I'll join it to this piece So what we're going to cut here is we're just going to cut some strips of three quarter inch um, wood here with the track saw. And if you haven't seen the review on the Craig AccuCut, check it out. The link will be up above, but watch it after. Um, so we're going to cut some, some strips and then we're going to cut them at 45 degree angles to put them as corner braces. And that's where the countertop will attach to the countertops because the, the, to the countertops, to the cabinets because the cabinets don't have any corner bracing right now, we're gonna add it and then we'll drill the countertops into those corner braces, you'll see. So, this is what our strips are gonna be for. We got our 45s and they're gonna go right here on the cabinets and this is where we'll drill our holes for the countertop oh, is that what to you did attach on the other to. cabinets in the laundry room? Yeah. So we're gonna do a couple of these for all these cabinets, alright? Alright guys, we got all our little corner braces cut here. And what I'm doing now is I'm putting two pocket holes in there to hold them into the cabinet. And I'm also going to drill one hole with the same pocket hole drill, but I'm just gonna go straight down. And the purpose for that will be that's where the screw will come up. And I've read everywhere that you need to leave, like, a lot of people do, like, bigger holes. Sorry, I don't know how to explain it. But you need to have a bigger hole than your actual screw. And I'm going to use washers to hold it up. But there, I'll show you guys later. But there will be a gap so that the screws can move around. Um, it gives the wood, it gives the wood, um, space to contract and expand with the humidity and the temperature changes. So I'll show you guys here in a bit once I have these done. All right, guys, I brought the wrong pocket screws. I was gonna do this tonight, I was gonna finish. But these are too long. 
came out here. I need, I think these are one and a half and I need one and a quarter. So I'll have to pick some up and bring them tomorrow. But, so here, we got our corner brace, pocket holes, and then I just drilled a regular, this is like a half inch hole. All right, and so I have my cabinet. My cabinet uh, screws for wood. And so what I'm gonna do, So this is the top, this is the bottom of the cabinet under underneath the counter. And so what we're gonna do is put one in a washer. And then this is gonna go through here, grab onto the countertop, right? But it still gives it the wiggle room for the expansion and the extraction. So I saw this online somewhere. Red, that, that, that's, some, that's what you can do to anchor butcher block. So we're gonna do it like that. And that'll give it space to where the, when the wood contracts and expands, it will give it space to move around with it. So we'll continue this tomorrow, pick up the right pocket screws, and we'll finish up tomorrow. All right, we got our braces attached everywhere. And then on these solid top ones, I just drilled holes for these screws. All right, next I took the laser level guys and I made a mark in the middle of the sink and I marked where the faucet was going to go and I went ahead and took a wood bit and made the hole for the faucet so that we could get it installed. got this beautiful gold sink sink excuse me kitchen faucet off of amazon guys um, i'll put a link down below it's an affiliate link but i think we paid around 80 bucks or less and it's really good quality for what we paid it's not plastic it's actual metal and it looks really nice in the kitchen so if you want to check it out the link will be down below in the description After we got the faucet on, we went ahead and placed the countertops on the cabinets where they went. Sorry, I couldn't get video of this. I just Woo! forgot. All right, guys, got them on the counter. Now I'm gonna attach these two pieces. So down here at the bottom, sorry, it's extra dark. All right, down here, before I put the small piece, I had some pocket holes made so that I could attach the two pieces and I'm just gonna screw the pocket holes and then we'll screw the screws onto the top countertop and that'll be it. Woo! Of the corner braces. So we've got three in here. guys we got the countertops secured and 
level. And all that's left now is the clear coat on the top. Alright, stick around guys. Next week I'll show you how we clear coated and that will be the end.